Citizens of Rome, welcome back to Caesar 3 and today is a very special excursion into a unique desert map created by Lizaran, a Zachalite in our community. Now, this video is sponsored by Firefly Studios for Roman's Age of Caesar. If you don't know, Firefly Studios is basically the old impressions games, you know. Simon, Bradbury, Eric Ouellette, the old devs of old, they're at Firefly Studios and they're making a new game called Roman's Age of Caesar. Roman's Age of Caesar is a new online city builder from Firefly Studios, created by a team of ex-impressions games developers responsible for Caesar 1, 2 and 3. Roman's Age of Caesar features classic isometric city buildings set across a vast empire map. Play in co-op with 15 other players to build a glorious ancient city, battle hordes of barbarians and trade across the empire. Ultimately heading to the Senate, where you may find yourself plotting against former allies for the grand title of Caesar. Currently in open beta, you can try Roman's Age of Caesar for free at playromans.com. Just click the link in the description to start playing. And I have my own redirect, which is gamerzack.com slash romans. So please do use that link to go check out Roman's Age of Caesar. Now, this is Augustus in Caesar 3. Uh, and you can see under city construction kit. Here's, here's a map. Ancient Thera, volcanic remnants in the Aegean Sea. Look at this map. Look at it. It's it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. And I, I had a look around and this is a sort of map which can do some very cool things. Now the requirements to win are 85 culture, 85 prosperity, 85 favor and 8,000 people. No military. And my favorite thing in city builders is that stress where you can lose and you have to hold things up and military is a great way to solve that. No military maps in impressions games means the map has to be very interesting and challenging by itself like Lugdunum. And I think this could play sort of like that. It's an enormous desert province. Let's go to the map. Look at this map. The starting spawn point is over here. And you start with just 3,300 uh, and you basically have to slowly expand to areas. There's scattered farmlands around like a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And this map is made by Lizaran, our resident map maker, uh, who's made some of the maps that come with Augustus. And one thing that I really like about Lizaran's style is that they always make things make sense rather than designing a map to being gameplay centric. So for example, farmland always has like these little rivers that sort of indicate, oh, this is fertile land because there is a river, right? This is ocean. It's salt water. That doesn't make sense. Fresh water flowing out the ocean, fertile land, right? That's how that works. <laughs> and Lizaran makes these very naturalistic looking maps that don't look like game maps. They look like actual maps. <laughs> so that's what I really, really like about this style. Uh, some of our previous excursions into custom maps have this naturalistic style as well. And I really like it because you end up building things that are very different. And now with um, Augustus, you can do so much more as well. Now. If you missed it, this game is sponsored by Roman's Age of Caesar, which you should check out, gamesact.com slash Romans. But one of the cool things is, if you click about here, you can see some names here. Notably, Simon Bradbury. See this name right there? Simon recently did a video on the Firefly channel looking at my gameplay and commenting on it. This is a game that I grew up playing. And this guy right here has now commented on my gameplay of this game. <laughs> so, yeah, so see these names? You'll see a lot of these names at Firefly Studios. It's very cool. So you can go check out that video as well. Now, I want to try do 
an interesting and pretty build like just just achieving these goals 85 prosperity so we could throw down some villas uh 85 culture is actually pretty high 8,000 population quite high for an island map but this is an enormous province you see like big open area to build right here you know quite a lot of room well that's farmland there so i think we're gonna have to build on some of this farmland try and mix in a lot of fishing if at all possible but you know i've never i've never played the map before so i think first things first we need to do a low bridge to cross over from the immigration point over to this side and try to plan something let's let's have a look at our initial trade routes this is a pretty tough start uh, one shield of fish one shield of olive oil and one shield of weapons uh, all sea trade routes so not much exports but we should max those out as soon as possible so weapons oil fish just 15 units of each let me check raw materials iron mine is available Ooh, Zaran. <laughs> look what he did look what they did um this is not hmm, mineable Ooh, ooh, maybe we can get some there. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so, let me just rotate this around and look. Uh, raw materials, iron mine. So yeah, this doesn't count. We can squeeze some there. And then I think it's there. So if I clear these. Raw material, iron mine. Yeah, we can have... One, two, three along there. Four, I think. We could squeeze some there, but this is where we're going to have to cross over to the next island. You, like, you can't just cross anywhere, right? Um, you see how the, the bridges are set up. Like this farmland here, you can't get there from this, this side. Right? If I pick the ship bridge, there's no connection here. See, this goes straight into a rock, so that doesn't work. <laughs> what a tease. Um, which make The reason why I find this interesting is because, essentially, we're going clockwise to get to here. And then, to, so we're developing the city clockwise around this uh, volcanic crater. So we're going section by section because ship bridges are expensive, because low bridges don't always i don't know that actually works but then can the ships continue around i guess they could it'd mess up shipping putting a low bridge there a ship bridge here costs a thousand three hundred so essentially we have to stay on this island to begin with let's plan uh housing so there's some farmland here some farmland here some farmland here we could use this maybe put a dock there Get some iron shifting up to a weapons industry up here and then some fishing. Yeah, so this corner here can be our sea trade. Uh, what other farms do we have? We have fruit. So we could do some fruit. Um, but I think fishing down here to feed. Yeah, I, I think we have to ignore some of this farmland. So I'm going to clear off a path first. These trees are all in the way, so we have to make some room. I don't want to cut down all the trees until I know that we don't need it, but let's... Uh, I think this will be a trade area, so I'm just gonna clear that. And then this will need some farm there. Now let's do a kind of housing area. Oof. This is actually trickier than I thought. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this, we can do this. Uh, yeah, I think I just ignore this farmland and then use up this space here. Right, I think... I think we have to. So let's... Build a housing area. I think I should start simple. 
I think I shouldn't do anything fancy until we're actually settled. So let's do a normal 8x8 and let's not do anything fancy. Let's not get overly ambitious. Yeah. That's fine. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I think I do have to feed people. Right? I think I do have to feed people. Um, maybe I can... Maybe I can... Fruit this block. I'm trying to... Yeah, okay, so... Farms will go here. Because fruit has good desirability. So farm, fruits... Oh, farmland goes, well, right up until there. I see. So I could do that. Do like four root farms like that. We'll roadblock that. Let's make sure we have firehouse. Firehouse, engineer's post, engineer's post. We'll need a granary. Set this to... Yeah, no trades, just market ladies. Accepting fruit. So fruit can go into there and have a... Yeah, there. That works. Market. Buying fruit. Right? That works. Let's not forget doctors. And then let's have them start to move in. Okay. Let us prioritize water services, prefectures, and engineering. Okay. See what I mean by how even without military, this is such a challenge? It's such a challenge. <laughs> Just trying. Don't forget the gods. Yep. We're gonna get that going soon. Uh, we could use this to combat any bad desirability. Okay. Initial people moving in. We need 80 people. Okay, just the basics are kicking off now. If I immediately feed this block, we could probably get enough people to set up our exports. I think. But we need these fruit farms going. Is there still space? Yeah, yeah, there's still space. I always underestimate how many people. That was already half of your starting money gone. Right, this was half of our starting money. <laughs> really trying here. Okay, we're gonna need trees. Uh, no, let's do paths. Date paths. Okay, looks nice, right? Okay, all these nice decorations. So fruit's gonna start coming in, then we'll feed people. We just keep evolving these houses. One big challenge, desert map, no clay. Okay, so some fruit's gonna go out now. Oh, these baskets are so heavy, I'm taking fresh supplies back to my market. Okay. So, what else do they need? Still desirability? Uh, okay. Yeah, desirability is gonna hold things back, I think.
And then, oh right, entertainment, let's pop a theater down, and that should get us the people we need. Oh, we're actually at 29% unemployment. Okay, so now we go into debt and try to max our exports. So our exports are uh, 15 weapons, 15 oil, 15 fish. So I'm going to go... Yeah, I think the trade route... See this uh, flotsam? It's flowing down this way. So I think the trade route is coming from up here. So I think I pop the dock there. Then we need a warehouse. So I'm going to try be as efficient as possible here. There's three things to trade. Uh, I don't want to block this flat coast. Okay, I think... I, ooh, that... That kind of works out nicely. So if I have... A warehouse... Here... And another warehouse here. This one. So it's four traders. Oh, this is a new button. I'm using the latest unstable build of Augustus. What is this? Halt resource to workshops or granaries. Oh, the Augustus team have been adding more stuff. Always download the latest um, uh, unstable build. So this one can accept... 16 fish and 16 oil. This one will accept all the weapons. Yeah, that's fine. So then we need... So... Wolf. 15 fish. So essentially we need four of each building. Right? One. Two. Let's do three. So this road is extending out like this down to there. Then we're going to need olives. Let's clear this farm olives. Let's not block this path. See, because of the map design, you have to make choices. Um, so we need... Yeah, like two of these. Let's put the workshops first. Oil. Uh, trying to figure out the best way to do this. So, oil workshop. Olives, road, uh, oil workshop, trying to maximize space but also like a farm could go right there but uh, let's do that. Okay. So we're in debt already. And then I want... So putting iron mines here is a bad idea. Because it will block the only place to bridge over. We'll have to destroy it later. So we can't build it. Where's the nearest iron mine? Here. Alright. Iron mine. There. Iron mine. Okay, fine. We're doing it here. This road is just gonna go... Straight along like that. Uh, fire. Engineers. Engineers. 
I'm actually gonna fire engineers and I'm actually going to roadblock here to make sure the dock never burns. And do a fire engineers there and roadblock there. Right, okay, that works. And then we just need workshops four for weapons, but not too far from this stuff. Might as well build it on this side of the road. Not too far, but also you want it up the road a bit. How far can farms go here? Up until there, perfect. So, workshops, weapons, one, two. Three, four. Rescue funds? Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. <laughs> We're 94 above debt. Okay. So we shot 152 employees, but as the fruit goes out, uh, these houses will evolve. It's just going through this first feeding. Uh, we might have to scatter some plazas and stuff to keep the houses evolving. Just, yeah, just waiting on fruit. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna par. <laughs> I don't know how you would do, like, you would have to go so slowly to avoid debt, right? You have to go so slowly. If you don't want to pa this up. Ha. My governor's <laughs> thick money grows on trees. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come on, fruit go out. Oh, we should prioritize food production. Because more food means more people. Hey, come on, come on. Waiting on fruit. I should just have another farm. Okay. a little concerned. <laughs> Can we get enough people in on time? Oh, we just don't have enough food. Okay. Maybe I should have waited for the food to catch up. Like, build up first. I mean, it, it's working, it's just going rather slow. Like, we're very slowly evolving these houses. Personal salary. It's at eight. Let's set it to zero for now. And we can just give what we have back to the city. <laughs> Let's have no salary. Short a hundred employees, huh? Yeah, because we can't grow wheat on this map. So things aren't producing. Oh, also, dis disable these buildings. I just realized because we don't have a shipyard yet. 500 citizens, great. Where can we even pop a shipyard?
there. We might go into debt anniversary. <laughs> we might go into debt anniversary. The first bit of... Um, olives are now growing. Uh, the first bit of iron is coming in. Of course, they both dumped into the same workshop. Um, you know. That's how that works. If I check the housing advisor... Available capacity 29. Shot 65. Yeah, where can I- where's the best spot for the shipyard? It should just be, like, back here or something. But that area is now cut off. It can't be on this side. The bridge will force the ships to go around quite a long way. I guess it doesn't matter. Right, it can just go here. Collapsed building. Right, of course, that would happen. Ah, uh, uh, how annoying. <laughs> we have to do this. Okay, we're probably just gonna hit the debt anniversary. I think I think that's just gonna happen. Wait, I have to pay myself a salary. If I don't, then there's no way to raise favor. Like, olive oil is being produced, weapons are being produced, they're just not in yet. Food is... it is going out. We're producing enough food, it's just the first feeding that's a problem. See, almost every house is now... evolved. Now with every house evolved, there's room for another 88 people. Some weapons are gonna come through, some oil's gonna come through, then we can open the trade routes. Uh, which one's worth more? Sellers receive 180 for weapons, 140 for oil. I should probably just ignore fish, right? I'm just gonna save right here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have started every export at once. You know, maybe that's a bad idea. Yeah, I think we're definitely hitting a debt anniversary. Yeah, trade. Yeah, trade comes from here. You see the, the flotsam? It spawns here, so that's where the ships should come from. There it is. 12 more months to repay all your debt. We're down to 20 favor. Okay. Um, some people are trickling in. Is food really not keeping up? Fine, just pop one more farm down to stabilize the food supply. Oil is in. Six hundred to open oil. Yeah, export oil. Oh, also export all fish. Athena. Uh, selling the four oil should get our money back from the opening of the trade route.
Selling the weapons. Ugh. Ugh. Food is so worthless that Zack doesn't even feed his people with it. I'm feeding my people this time. We started with that. <laughs> it's because space restrictions. If I just throw down a school, all these houses should evolve. Right? I'll bring in a few more people. Did we sell some... oil? I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Have we sold some oil? We did sell some oil. Where'd the ship go to? Does it sail back out to them? Let's see where the ship goes. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place well, they sail back makes the way. seasickness bearable. <laughs> okay. If I immediately lose this, it's going to be very bad. <laughs> well, if we get invaded, I can just destroy the bridge, right? <laughs> right? They'll spawn there. So... If Caesar comes to kill us, we should be fine. Uh, we only have... We have five weapons? Okay. Let's open this trade route. Because it immediately pays for itself. You lose all your population and lose the game, though. Yeah. That'll be a bit of a problem. Because you can't even... There's no... You can't train soldiers, so the only thing... And we don't even have... We have no military. Right? The only way to lose this game is if Caesar comes and kills you. And we're drawing dangerously close to that. Okay. So now we just have to get out of debt. Our favor's down to 13. I gotta pay myself more. Uh, this... Okay, buy the weapons, please. Thank you. I don't know if we'll get out of debt in time. We, we're cutting it close. We're cutting it close. Another successful Bought voyage. Eight. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> when was our debt anniversary? August? We might be able to do it. I just don't know if Caesar's gonna come at us for the low favor. Once we get out of debt, the focus is gonna be raising favor. Oh, come on! Price rise of fish, that's actually good. Next ship, next ship will get us out of debt. <laughs> Pray to Mars. Uh, that won't stop Caesar. He sends two, three battalions, I think. Okay, we have, we have three, we just need a weapons ship to show up. We've got three weapons, weapons ship. I can't wait to do some trade. It's an oil ship. I love a good deal. We we need more oil. We don't have enough oil. Oh, why wasn't it a weapon ship? We have so many weapons. It's okay. I think it's August. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Pray to Pharaoh instead of Caesar. Ra, help me. <laughs> I actually don't know the geographic look. Oh, that was enough. Where? Okay, we reset debt anniversary. Uh, I actually don't know where this is supposed to take place. This map. You're there. Okay, we reset it. We reset it. Here comes 
this. Uh, do we have enough for a large gift? No. Buy my wares. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. It's between Greece and Turkey. Pretty much there. By the way, Lazaran, the map maker, is here. So it's pretty much here between Greece and Turkey. So it's like one of these islands here, is it? Okay, there's money. Um, let's just pay ourselves... What's our rank? Our default salary was 8, right? How much do I have? 128? Just give me 12. Okay, we're actually out of debt. I'm gonna want another one of those. Another one of those. And I want to send gifts, send large gifts as soon as I can. Uh, we're going to need shipyard, which I can have there. That's actually fine. A little short on employment. A blessing from Mars. Hey, we actually got a Mars blessing. Send a gift. Not yet. How much do we need for a large gift? These are the numbers I cannot remember. I didn't add the roadblock. Yeah, I, I, I realized I don't need it because the range of these walkers is two tiles. So even though they might not walk down this way, them passing the main road covers it anyway. See, they don't actually have to walk down. So the roadblock is unnecessary. Increase your salary to architect. I mean, I'm, I'm paying myself 12. I'm actually overpaying myself. But yeah, if I'm overpaying, it's going to drop our favor. So I should uh, put it back down, I think. You know, I can give money to the city. Why can't I take money out of the city coffers? <laughs> I'll just help myself to some of this. Uh, thank you. It'll be too exploity, I think. Give to city. Where's the take from city button? <laughs> okay, is food actually... Food is barely maintaining, actually. So th this food is just breaking even. Fruit farms don't feed that many people. Okay, okay. We're just trying not to die here. How much do I need? I have... Is it 200? Okay, are we actually maxing 15? 15? We are actually maxing trade. We'll see if it maxes next... I think it will max next year, yeah. Okay, so this is maxing trade. Five workshops to two resource productions. It's idle sometimes, but it, it produces 15 a year for sure that way. Um, I'm not sure if... Because it, that, the fishing depends on how far the... You will mock Caesar no more! Okay. Let's raise favor. I think we just have to keep it above 20. Uh, tax people. 
Well, the issue isn't so much having money in the city coffers now. I can tax people, but... Yeah, it says raise it to 35, but I think if I keep it over 20, he'll invade, but then he'll turn back around. Not mocking Caesar. Look, I wanted to steal from my people and give it to you, but it doesn't let me do that. <laughs> I can't wait to do oh, some this trading. Is... That's going to get us so much money. We have 11 weapons here. It's just, I don't even have towers to build. I cannot fight off anything. What happens if I just pay myself Caesar's salary? Is that exploitable? Remember the lion tactic? <laughs> uh. I shouldn't have given my money back to the city. That was a bad move. Gladiators and lions to fight off Caesar. Not sure if that'll work. Uh, I need a few more people, so I'm going to... Just add some... Hmm. Not there. Add some... Houses there. Okay, money's now a thing, so we can plaza that, we can plaza this. Um, I need to guarantee a path through here. Basically, I have to leave that open, or maybe open that up. See, now we've got plenty of money. Now we've got plenty of money. It's just... Time since last gift, last gift four months. I was just too overambitious. Yeah, I built too much industry to start, I should have just focused on one. I think that was what I should have done. Just focus on one industry, not try to set max out everything in one go. Okay, uh, we can enable these buildings. Am I pressing? Yeah. yeah employees needed, more people moving in, that's fine. So we're gonna start fishing. I can open up... Oh no, it's the same trade route. So we can start selling fish. I'm not sure if three wharves is enough. We'll see if it is. And then... See if we need a, a fourth wharf somewhere. Uh, it's not really a good spot for it though. How much do I need for a medium gift? I don't want to overpay myself because I'll drop favor. Very close, very close. Once I stop the favor thing, we can go full steam ahead. Uh, in terms of imports, where's clay come from? Clay and pottery. There's not a lot of clay and pottery on this map. Hopefully trade routes open up a bit more. Fish is starting to come in. Our three ships are here, so next year we'll see if we actually manage to sell 15 fish. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Fishing spot there? Yeah. Three fish.
Okay. Fish being sold. A little bit of unemployment. I have 64 in the bank. Slightly less than 100 denarii for medium. And I look adorable with the scarf thing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> A request of money? Oh, actually, that's fine. I hereby give you the privilege of providing additional funds for the good of Rome. Send them soon and I will consider constructing a statue in your honor. This is actually good. Build me a statue. Because that's, that's out of treasury, not... not uh... Uh, personal funds. So if that boosts our favor, that might actually save us. That request might actually save us. It's October now, looking at this. So we max oil, we max weapons. Just need to see if we can max fish. Then, that's where, where we explode. Once we make sure we don't die to Caesar, we can explode to the rest of the map. Just build up our savings for now. Develop a war chest. So it's November, uh, so we've sold a total of 10 fish. Oh yeah, three, three wolves is going to be fine. We sold 10 fish and we weren't even fully fishing this year. Lighthouse, yes. We'll need to get the lighthouse down, max our trade exports. Uh, so this... I can actually set this to 16. Uh, allow this to accepting 16 clay and we can import some clay. Because we're going to need that for the warehouse. Import 16. Okay. So I'll buy some clay. Stock that up. We have a little bit of extra... Unemployment. We're gonna need a... Can we produce marble? Oh, we can't produce marble. Gonna need another warehouse. Can we import marble? We can. Four marble. Let's, let's just do a little bit. Uh, we'll... Emperor's gratitude. Your loyalty shall not be forgotten. Really? We didn't gain any favor from that? A Roman legion hostile to your control of the city is within sight of the city. This is a grave threat indeed. Well. Dispatch a generous gift. Favors 25. <laughs> Let's make a... Did we just lose here? I thought... Ah, uh, it was a dem uh, This game has demands, not requests. Demands don't give you favor, by the way. That's like a Caesar 4 mechanic. Let's see what happens. New orders just arrived. Ah. Oh. It seems the Emperor has had a change of heart towards you, and thankfully I'm to return to Rome. I bid you farewell for now. Look at our legionnaire, uh, our prefect. I'll fight to the death. This city's safe while I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, so you have defeated that bunch of incompetence I sent to arrest you. You have some ability, then, and for that I salute you. The next army I send for you will be a different matter entirely. That should be the end of all military on this map. Uh, favors boosted up to 35. And um, there's no other military activity. Okay, so now... Let's uh, pop a warehouse down. This one is going to be for trading, and it is just accepting marble and timber. 
Then I go raw material, timber yard, and put one of those down. Let's do a lighthouse. That actually looks like a great spot for it. Yes, lighthouse. Road will extend out like that. Roadblock there. Make sure nothing bugs out there. Let's get a architect's guild. And a work camp. Uh, temporarily. Ooh, population milestone, a thousand. Um, maybe I can... Mm, it's not really any... Ooh, I can just... You know, it'll be fast if I just temporarily put it there. Clay is being imported. Timber's coming in. We should import marble as well. Uh, the imports are gonna slow down trade for a little while. Increase trading of fish. 25. Oh, now we're gonna need another wharf. Wharf. I can't fit anywhere there. Could pop one there, I guess. Like that. Little shot on workers, but... That's alright. <sighs> okay, we survived. We survived. Three wolves should produce around 30 fish per year. Really? That much? I guess, yeah, before I build stuff, I should actually see if we just cover it already. Are we importing marble? Yes, we are importing marble. Okay. Uh, 12 marble needs to be delivered there. Okay. Ah, oh, once... So we're gonna build a lighthouse. Um, there's no employment problems. Can I make this work a little bit better? Move the forum to there. Put another farm there. All right, so uh, that should stabilize the food supply for now until we get more stuff in. Uh, good suggestion in chat. Fallen prefecture here. Um, statue. There's a, there's a legionary statue. A bit big, just for one prefect. Statue. You know what? I should build some, some tombs there. I should build a small mausoleum <laughs> for the fallen prefecture, but for now, in honor of the sole defense we had, the hero of the islands. Ah, look at this tray. It looks nice and fat over here. Just slowly trickling in the marble. Uh, since we're gonna need to boost up timber, let's pop that down. Let's also open up this road here. Which we're gonna eventually send this way. Roadblock that. So this is where we're gonna cross over to the next island. I feel like we're two-thirds of the way of filling this first island. Let's go... Ooh, you know what? We should do a fountain, small pond, right in the middle. Yes, look at that! We've got flamingos! Okay. So that's set up there. Uh, yeah, these imports are starting to wreck us a bit uh, because it's just holding up things. Oh, we maxed import of that? Let's stop importing that. We've maxed import of marble already. 
That's gonna take us a while to get the lighthouse. Okay, now the exports are going out. Look at that. It's just rushing everything out. Very good. Yep, buy our stuff. Money starts soaring up. Great. November. Did we... Well, you held up trade quite a bit. There's, yeah, we, we're actually producing enough fish. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. This should max it out. I should stop using all the timber. We need it for the request. We actually have too many weapons. Look at that. Uh, yes, let's store the timber. By the fish, and that means we are actually maxing exports. A little bit over, in fact. We're overselling one of each unit. Great. <sighs> this game looks older than Pharaoh, that's only one year apart in publishing. Well, it's because they built the engine with this game, and then they just reused this engine for Pharaoh. 16 out of 16 oil, plus one buff. Yeah, everything oversold by one. <laughs> Little bit of extra. You know, like a baker's dozen. Are we keeping up with food here? I'm not sure if we're actually producing enough food. New Year of Trading. Uh, the Lighthouse will allow us to maximize our um, export potential. I feel like I should now just get rid of that. the best spot for this. So that's the furthest that should go. I just want to add in way the farms line up it's always a bit awkward here for that one more fruit farm might be able to start stockpiling uh food there hmm. more marbles coming in we need quite a lot of marble but i also don't want to go into debt stop importing that Okay, fine, it ticked over. You are there. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But also, we should be able to send a gift. Uh, we don't have enough for a large gift. We can send this request. Yeah, so, uh, don't keep stockpiling resources. Dispatch that, that'll boost our favor up. Okay, get out of debt. Yeah, buy a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you. We're just cutting things a little bit close. Okay. Now we can resume importing. Up to eight. Okay. Oh, I should I should finish this island first, right, before I move on. But how could I... Hmm, do I want to squeeze in more houses? Do I want to evolve these houses? Like, clay and pottery is really limited. I feel like I shouldn't be evolving these houses. But then again, sentiment might be a problem. Hmm. Because I don't know if... Clay and pottery will increase trade. Can't 
really... I could fit one more house here. Just need to throw one of those down there. Uh, we should keep decorating as well. Parks. Contaminated water. Did I put down a doctor's? I did, I did. Uh, nope. Uh, parks. Roofed garden wall. Is this new? Oh, this is a new type of wall. Oh! This is new in Augustus. Does this actually function like an emperor wall? <gasps> oh, okay. And looped garden walls have gates. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We got some emperor going on in here. What other new things have been added? <laughs> um. I just wanted to... I want to like decorate this entrance. Price rise of clay. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm going to decorate this entrance. Because, you know, decorating a whole city right from the start, it's going to be... So how does this... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay. So instead of like a... Full-on... Military wall, we could do... Some interesting things. Uh... I want statues. Maybe not statues. What can we put at the end? Uh, that's parks. And the parks... That, there's so many options now. No, marble column doesn't quite work. Block, plaza, uh, gardens, mansions... Paths, parks, trees. Hmm. You know what? Lots of Rome just has incomplete walls and stuff, right? That's actually fine. Uh, let us... Did this look good? <sighs> hate it when the undo button disappears so quickly. Colonnade. Ah, uh, <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, that, that looks kind of nice. Get rid of all of these trees. Then we can go to statues. Uh, medium statue. No, medium statues. They look so common now, statues. Legionary statue. I kind of like that. And then we go to paths, pine path there, and then just trees, pine trees there. Because what's more? Roman than these pencil pines. Did I hear someone die? Oh well. I can just throw down some gardens. Okay. Decorated the entrance just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> right? You could spend like days and days and days decorating an entire city bit by bit like that. That's actually. 
a lot you can do. Okay, so looking at this, the lighthouse is almost done since we've been spending our time decorating all of that. Oh, okay. Uh, should probably... Yeah, food is actually now stockpiling, which is great. Uh, we have been importing clay, so what's actually going in here? The timber, 16, marble, 16. Let's drop marble to 8. And then allow some pottery to sit in here. Then we'll just need to... Ah yes, there is a gap here, so we can have a warehouse here. Set to getting pottery. Get 16 pottery. Oh, this, this is a new flag as well. See that? That's a new thing. Employees needed. Uh, then we just need workshop, pottery. And then like two. Right? Uh, clay, timber, some marble. Okay. So we should have pretty much everything we need to finish this lighthouse. Just one more marble? Yeah, we need one more marble. Have we maxed marble this year as well? No, no, not yet, not yet. Okay. So I'm gonna evolve these because small casas, they're not great for uh, happiness, the sentiment mechanic. Uh, boosting desirability can help. Can put a... Goddess statue, goddess statue, that looks cool. We can put... That's the best we can do here. Parks. Just the sunlit hedge right there, because we need this opening right here to let people into our city. How can I make this sort of build but still work. If I put road, road, but roadblock, roadblock, like that. Is it okay if this market lady might go over there to get pottery? But that shouldn't be a problem. Connect Plaza. Okay, so this looks a bit more proper. There we go. Entrance done. For aesthetic, let's connect the road there as well. Twelve fish. Okay, send that. Can I also send a gift? Lavish a chest of sapphires. Great. Favor up to 45. Whew, okay. Is any of this gonna be going over here? No, right? Yeah, okay. The only thing is maybe the pottery from here. We need so much clay. That imports to there, so it's not so bad. So pottery is gonna start coming in. And then we can start distributing pottery. Uh, I need to move some things around here. This... Oh, that's already kind of pushing it. Uh, that's a river there. Gotta move this farm. We can have two farms like this. Extending a road out like that. Getting rid of that so that we can then put an amphitheater right there. Okay. Once the pottery shifts down here, I'll start selling pottery and then we can evolve these houses. We'll also need a bathhouse. So let us move... Uh, 
the Ceres Temple. Over to there. And we can have bathhouse right there. Okay, just evolving this block of houses is probably going to use up most of the resources on this island. There's a lot of flat coast here, which we could use for fishing, but uh, like maxing this map is going to be very tedious. Uh, right now we just need um, more clay, I think, to finish the lighthouse. Where's all our pottery gone? Did all the clay go into the lighthouse? Maybe we just import pottery. Importing max, yeah. Just import all the pottery you can. Okay. This spot here, I'll drop clay to eight and pottery to eight. That should speed up the importing of pottery and clay. Well, po speed up the importing of pottery. I can fit two more farms. I think I can fit two more farms here. Why are we so short on... Did I really build that much? I only got three pottery. I need four. Okay, but since we do have quite a bit of money, I can plan the ship bridge. Two, three. There's three tiles here. I should build it on one side instead of the other. 1,300, yeah. We've unlocked the next island. Ah, this is the main island, the sort of crescent. Look at our little city. It's actually looking kind of nice. It's, it's coming together. It's coming together. This simple starting block should go quite a long way. Okay. Pottery is in. Need 11 clay to finish. This is, yeah, the crown of the lighthouse. 11 clay. I think you guys have tweaked the cost of clay for the lighthouse, I, I think it used to be more than 20, right? Oh. But yeah, you see what I mean by how this map is very interesting? Where... Okay. A demand for more money. Just have it. Uh, where it goes in phases. There's like this starting island and you really can't progress to the rest of the map until you stabilize here. Oh, I see. The engineer is supposed to spawning there. So once you stabilize and build up the first island, only then can you shift over to the next island, right? I could use up this farmland to help feed this block as well, but I think we're doing okay. We could support more houses somewhere on this island, but maybe it's best if I use that farmland and feed a housing block over here. I think that makes sense. Uh, this should be getting furniture as well. Hmm. 
maybe eight furniture and you can get eight oil as well so we can get all three resources down here um we'll want to Oh, I can use these new gates. Um, are they in the parks? Yeah, roofed garden wall. So we can gate these up. So nothing is allowed in. The Emperor's gratitude. Increased trading of clay! Finally! Uh, we can cover this. Throw down one more olive farm. And a couple oil workshops to boost up oil production. Then oil should be able to support this area. And then we'll want to throw down workshops, furniture. And send some furniture down that way. Two workshops should be enough, right? Yeah. Then this market can start trading pottery. Evolve these houses. Uh, yeah, because we're really short on workers right now. Okay, furniture will come in. Let's evolve all of these. Nice. All right, we don't have the actual... fit them back here. Actor Colony? Gladiator School. Okay. Yes, yes, I think so. So if I check priority of workers, yeah, it is industry and commerce that takes the hit. Uh, but we... Where is all of our clay? Let's stop importing marble. Did I turn off importing clay? When did that happen? Okay, let's stop importing pottery as well. When did I turn off importing clay? How long will I stream today for this? <laughs> I'll go as long as I can today and then see how far we can take this. But I, I honestly, Lazaren, I really love this map. It's, it's such an epic sort of... You know, can you make a functioning and beautiful city on this map? Like, oh, there's all this farmland here. You can see, like, where do you put, like... Can you get luxury palaces on this with Augustus? There's one source of wine from imports. Oh. And Venus, the Venus Grand Temple can provide a second type of wine. Well, that's not good. Really? Is it because overall health is bad? Below average. Oh, I needed to clear some space anyway, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna move that. You guys can have a barber. That should help you guys stay a bit cleaner. Do I need to just throw down an extra doctor? Is that? Oh, that's an engineer's post. Uh, there, an extra doctor. Stop the plague. So we're producing extra oil. We're waiting for some furniture. This might like look good if I actually wall up 
the back of the farms like this. No, not like that. But around here, yes. Ah, uh, this this is looking nice. That looks Oh, that's such a nice addition. Yeah, I, I really like how this is working. It'd be better if it's like just like that. I think I like that. Mm. Okay. Uh, those houses have stopped burning. Let's replace them. And then I think I can start planning some kind of housing area here. Uh, if I just clear this off. And I think for... For ease, I'm gonna keep this seemingly connected but actually separate. So let us build... So now that we can actually... Where? What? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Okay. It's just... I'm just... okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh... Thought I, I thought I've been... I'm sure you guys saw that ages ago. There's a way to cross through the middle. You went with large villas. A way to cross through the middle? Oh! See, that's what makes a good map. It's like, oh, I didn't even realize this crossing was available. So yeah, the road can actually come down here, and then you can cross into the middle. And then there's farmland here. And then you could cross down into this way and exploit that farmland and this farmland. Hmm. See, just from map design, you can actually see there's so many choices to make. Which, like, with the proper map design, you actually travel through the map in a city builder, right? It's one of my favorite things with certain city builder maps because in Caesar 3 technically you can just start anywhere right you can start building here right away right from the start but because of circumstance that's not practical right so you want to start here and then you travel oh lower price of weapons that's not good and you want to travel around how do we still not have oh it, it's got the resources okay just needs the engineers to this build it up. This city would be a lot better if there were enough workers. Okay, okay. Um, I think we can provide furniture and oil now. Uh, so we need to boost up our population. And then I'm going to set up the next housing area. So let me plan this housing area. Um... We could do fishing. How, how much space? Oh, there's a nice big spot for wharfs there, but... It's far from the fish. There's no fish back here, right? Yeah. See, like... Nice, easy, flat coast. No fish. I suppose they're going there. It's, I guess that's not that far. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's utilize the flat coast. Through the forest, flat coast. Uh, pop a granary somewhere there. And then we could feed uh, some kind of housing block here. So yes, this is doing that. This is doing this. And then we have... Let's 
some kind of housing block. Monument completed. The lighthouse. A mighty tower of stone looms over the horizon. May its fiery beacon guide ships safely home until the end of time. Ceres is upset and destroys all of your crops. Okay, hold on. So I'm just gonna do some little squiggly line there. Uh, the gods are unhappy, so I'm going to need... Did these houses evolve? Yes. Um... Oh, library, right. So let's move this Venus temple. You guys can have your library. Let me boost up. Uh, let me throw down some. Uh, palm tree, palm tree. Fig tree. Plum tree. So a little bit of difference there. Okay. Uh, over here, I'm going to go... Uh, one, two, three. This is where the granary goes. This is holding, just for market ladies, fish. Uh, this will be... Road blocked. This will be road blocked. We'll need firehouse, engineer's post to cover that, and then firehouse and engineer's post to fully cover that row. That's where all the fishing's gonna go. Let's get houses in. Is this in? Reservoir. Fountain. I'm going to do this. Something like that. People will move in. Uh, how do I... I do... If I have a road there, but I plaza it like that, and then I can do paths. Palm path. So it looks like it's sort of connected, but it's actually open, <laughs> right? Yeah, that, that kind of works. Okay, I like I like how that looks. This will bring in more people. Yes, okay. Unpause. So all our crops were destroyed. Yeah. The orchard has all the employees it needs. The trees are heavy with succulent fruit. Hmm. Yes. Let's supply furniture. We don't have enough furniture coming in to maintain. Oh, we've got some large insulin. Some desirability problems. Continue decorating. Statues. A senator statue right there. Nice. Can this market not keep up? That'd be annoying. Right, Venus is upset. I forgot the gods are all still upset. <laughs> uh... Let's just throw down 
an oracle right there. Also, I destroyed a temple over there. What was it? All right, Venus. That's why she's upset. That makes sense. Um, series. Neptune, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and then we'll need one more Venus. Okay, that should get the gods happy again. Mausoleum for our brave prefect. There is a road connection to back there. So right here, I will build a small mausoleum. We'll build an oracle, then a mausoleum. Yeah, we should, we should have enough stuff. Also, uh, I never set the sea trade policy. Right, uh... Also, this needs market access. Can I...? It's understaffed. Oh. It's so hot in Malaysia, aren't you hot? I'm not in Malaysia anymore. <laughs> uh, plaza. Yeah, we're gonna need to plaza this whole block. Fruits looking good. Okay, this oracle's down. Nice. That mausoleum should be built at some point. Yeah, for anyone who wants to get Augustus, get the unstable build. It's the most recent development stuff, so it's got more stuff and bug fixes and things like that. Uh, why can't I set this... Trade policy. Oh. Read the text. Well, I mean, oh, it says it's understaffed. I mean, it doesn't say you can't set a trade policy if the lighthouse is understaffed. <laughs> like, I know it says it's understaffed. I can see it's 10 out of 20. <laughs> but um, it doesn't say you can't set a policy until um, you're appropriately staffed. All of that moved in. Uh, we're gonna need... Mm. I should just put the shipyard here and get wolves going get a market down trading fish Theater. Amphitheater. This area is going to be a little underdeveloped, so I want to have enough entertainment. Can I have that there? If I put that, that. Increased trading of weapons? Ah, oh, that's good. Arena. Right? Okay. Right. It's a desert map. Uh, keep that in mind. 
Just make sure it doesn't spread. Did we already get fish? Oh, we don't have a stockpile of weapons. Let's store that. Um... Four fish went out to Oliver's house. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, entertainment buildings. Gonna need to have... Act a colony. Gladiator school. I think it's safe to destroy these. Lion house. Okay. This will keep people entertained so they don't rebel. Also, let's do gardens here. They say there's food here. Looter. Hopefully this prefect gets them. Yeah, we're gonna have to have extra prefects on this road. Let's have a prefecture here. This right. city desperately needs more workers. Did the looter change into a prefect? Did I find some weird obscure bug? Did you see that? The looter became a prefect. There, now I have a prefect patrolling the bridge. That should stop any looters coming from the poor, from the poorer side into the well-to-do side. Yeah, you stay over there. We have a guard on the bridge. Okay, desirability's a problem. Yeah, we are storing weapons. Favors 44. Um, let's just keep sending lavish gifts. Keep our favor high. Yeah, I saw the looter crossing the bridge and then right here, suddenly there was a prefect and then the prefect was walking off the road and then it despawned here. So, very strange behavior, but okay. Okay, uh, get rid of that. Trying to evolve these houses. What are they lacking? They need a school, so let's pop a school down. That should cover everything. Decreased trading, all right. So we, we had increased trading to 25 weapons, okay. Are we not selling any oil? Is all of our oil just going to down there? Oh no, it's because our we're, we're short on workers. So our industry is taking a hit. How's our food supply? Food supply is good. If we deprioritize food production and re well, prioritize industry and commerce, because we're running out of money, so we sh should deal with that as these houses slowly fill in. Let's supply of food. Yeah, we're struggling to keep up with food here. Arm path. We can do this kind of winding path there. That looks kind of nice. Goddess statue. Imperial dispatch ready. Send the request. Resume selling weapons. Yeah, we're not producing enough oil. It's actually all going down here. The little that we're producing was going down there, I see. Uh, 
we might need another pottery workshop. Let's clear this space here. Okay. Okay, okay. Just trying to balance things. Just don't have enough people. I think this market lady can reach the end, but if she can't... Yeah, I know. Theft. Here. The mood is dropping. Uh, people are indifferent to you. Let's just drop taxes. 5%. Emperor's Gratitude. Favor is up to... It didn't go up that much. 56. Can fit one more wharf there, but we're gonna need to put the shipyard back over here. Ah. That small mausoleum was constructed. Look at that. For the sole prefect that defended our city. This city is safe. As long as I'm alive. Blech. <laughs> He's got a statue and a mausoleum. Look at that. Okay. So things things are coming along. I want to decorate this... Um, maybe I surround it with this wall. That looks kind of nice. It's just... Can't fill that corner right there. But that does sort of work out. Maybe I can block that corner with a tree. Doesn't really work. Uh, is there something tall that I can use to block that corner? Uh, parks? Maybe a marble column? <laughs> so that doesn't quite cover it. Uh, maybe a fatter tree, like a fir tree. To sort of try and conceal the construction mistake. <laughs> Doesn't quite work, but... I mean, maybe if I put a... The obelisk wouldn't really cover it either. It's kind of... yeah, it's kind of skinny. Oh right, since this works like a roadblock, not sure if this will continue working. Interesting question. Will this gate stop the lighthouse from working? Oh, so, sea trade policy. Um, sea exports earn 20% more, but imports are 10% more expensive. Uh, it's this one. Because we're definitely exporting more than we're importing. Let's find out if the lighthouse stops working. The marble column. That actually... <laughs> Maybe, I guess. <laughs> All right. Just, pre just pretend. Just pretend. Okay. Um, I think the market lady does not go far enough to cover this block. She's only reaching there because she's not running out of food. As far as I can tell. Would it be worth... I guess I should shift this into services. Right, get rid of those. And instead... Have houses here. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, 
trees. Freeze. So those were dates. These are palms. Fill the rest. Nice. Very tropical. Okay, so shifted those houses to there, so now they can evolve, which is good. That brings in more people. We're oh, we've almost solved our unemployment problem. If I check, uh... Oh, there's a mothballed overlay now. Residents are very pleased with you, extremely pleased with you, okay. Pleased with you, pleased with you, okay. So no one's unhappy now. Don't know if I can get more fish into here. Could fit one there, but... Awkward. What the worst thing? 2,000 people. <sighs> okay, so now we're at 2,000 population. Things are going not bad so far. I kind of want to finish, quote unquote, this first island. But I'm not sure what else I can be doing here. Hmm. All the resources are here. I could squeeze in like a few houses down here, I guess, maybe. It would be kind of awkward. There's no way to bridge over this way, right? Oh, you can bridge over. No, 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 you can't, you can't. That's that's not allowed. That tile is not traverse, like reachable. So you can't bridge over this way. So you can't do that. No, okay. Look at this tease from Lizaran. <laughs> you can't go there. Can build a bridge, but it, it's not actually connecting. Okay, so we're not doing that. Uh, we actually have a tiny bit of unemployment. So I think I just need to try and stabilize this area. Lower price of fish, okay. Um, is there anything I need to do here? Just try and evolve these houses, I guess. So what I'll need... ...is a warehouse. This warehouse is for market ladies. And it's going to go get... ...eight pottery and accept... ...eight furniture. It'd be fast if it walks around this way, I think. And then I will resume... ...importing Max Pottery. Make sure no traders are allowed there. Also, make sure no... I should have just turned off market ladies from there. That's, this market lady might have been going that far. Should just turn that off. We have these controls now. Eight oil, send request, dispatch goods from that one. Great. I'm gonna keep doing little decorations. Because I think that will allow us to. Uh, No, not pine path. Paths. Fur paths. No, that looks weird. 
You know what? Just gardens, eh? Fill the gaps with little fir trees. Yes. The trade area just has slightly different... Arborage? Can you say Arborage? The lighthouse is dead. So it is. So it is. So this cannot be a gate. That has to be open. So if that's the case, we can open up the front. Contaminated water. Okay. Just decorate it with trees. So the wall at least looks a bit more intentional, I guess. Okay. Good. Yes. We can wall here as well. It looks nice. Yes. I like how there are actually like little flowers along the walls. Because they are actually decorative. Alright. The lighthouse doesn't burn. I think it just has to go get more timber. Oh wait, no, that's that's why this has market access, right. Um, I need to separate this. Uh, basically, pottery needs to not be in here. Not accepting. Oh nice, these numbers are now linked. Sorry, these numbers are now linked to the status. So getting is 8, accepting is 8, not accepting it goes back to 32 because I just like resetting that for some reason they've now made it automatic rome thanks you for your dispatch how long has it been since a gift yeah have a pharaoh's burial mask favor at 65. uh so now pottery is just sort of going into here it's only holding eight which is not great uh have a warehouse here, set this to no market lady, but accepting pottery. There we go. Yeah, that should be okay. Now this is an odd number of pottery though. But it's okay, that's where the pottery is going to sit, this one can get from there. Uh, this one... Oh, it's got some. Nice. Uh, bathhouse. So we want to be sticking services up this way now. Uh, I don't know if the barber is there, if he'll cover the whole thing. Let's find out. Parks, colonnade, nice, nice, I like that. Yeah. Fill every spot with decoration. Uh, is oil keeping up? We need more olives, so let's have another olive farm. That should solve, well, that should balance that. Uh, okay. Fish. Yeah, we can't evolve these houses because we don't have enough fish here. How do we get more fish here? There's not really much more fishing terrain here. I could fit one walk down there, but that wouldn't really do much. This thing's gonna need to be set to getting fish from... It's actually kind of hard. Do I really need to utilize that area there? Move series over. Move 
Mars over. Clear this coast. I could fit two wharves there. Right? So that's two more fishing wharves, so not so bad. Okay, okay, that kind of works. With all these new roadblocks and stuff, you can actually make very natural looking cities and they still function, which is actually really, really good. We can throw down a library and also double check our barber coverage. Okay, the barber is not reaching. So we do need to pop another barber somewhere. I guess if I swap this, that should actually cover all the houses, right? Do I have a doctor here? I just realized. I don't have a doctor here, do I? I did just realize. <laughs> realized too late. Oh, requests can come out of granaries now. Nice. Dispatch. Okay, so that's not great. <laughs> All right. Uh, statues. Let's throw a large statue back here. Yeah. Oh, right. Fire. Okay. Not so bad. Let the plague pass. Rebuild houses. Oh, right there as well. Okay. Uh, let's do parks. Sunlit hedge. Yep, just a little bit there. We're keeping this open. But what we can do... I haven't used any of these walls over this side. Is that what I want? I kind of want to start walling some things here. That's so annoying. <laughs> how things just don't quite always fit how you want them to. Single tiles are just like that, right? Guess that's fine. We can have this garden continue, but I don't want to touch that road because then that connects these roads. Contaminated water, price rise of wheat. It's okay, these houses re-evolving. We need those people back. Oh, missed the house here. Like, food's stockpiling up a bit here, but we did just lose a bunch of houses, so... These prefects go a long way.
Again? <sighs> is our health really that low? City health is poor. What is care for in city coverage NA? Why is our health so low? Is it the contaminated water supply? All right, all right. Burnout. Oh, we're also low on money. I can't fit a dock here. Ah. Uh, yeah, buying pottery is. Getting a bit excessive. We've only bought five. Let's stop importing. <laughs> um, let's stop accepting pottery here. Uh, push up clay into there. I think we're now manufacturing enough clay. The lighthouse is now on fire again. Increase trading. You are there. It is I. In debt again. Okay, filling in the gaps. Just because I want it to look nice. we get that hedge to be a plus. How do we get this hedge to be a plus? You see this hedge here? It's a plus. How do you do that on purpose? I did it by accident. Chippy Dip says, you have no idea how much great nostalgia this brings me. It was the first time I watched my brother play endlessly for hours as a kid. Yeah, ah, uh, the watchers. You know, when you're a kid and you, you watch someone else play? Like, I actually didn't play a lot of the games I have a lot of nostalgia with. Health below average, really. Do we just need to spam more doctors? Have another doctor. I have two doctors. There we go. Uh, food has evolved, uh, stockpiled here nicely, so let's just start trading pottery, since pottery has come in. We can manufacture our own furniture here, but I think we need to get this all evolved first. Library and school is already down, so that's fine. That school has evolved, this library is not, it's because of the iron mine. Um, weapons is there. Can I shift an iron mine here? I can. So I can shift an iron mine there, get rid of that iron mine, and instead I have a legionary statue right there. And that might be able to evolve that library. Because the iron mine can actually sit right there. Weapons stuff is right there, so that should be good. Yes, maybe. Hopefully. Look at this. It actually looks like a city. That mine was cursed anyway. Yeah, I had to put a roadblock here to make sure this was covered. I can now open this roadblock.
and clear these two things, which don't need to be there anymore. What can I have here? Just replace them with trees. Palm tree. Date tree. Good. I think the library... Oh, right. I've been prioritizing industry and commerce. Let's stop prioritizing that because it's affecting some other things. Okay, so that makes it... Yeah, I, I could clear off the... Prefect and Engineer's post, so now that's just going up that way. Um, do we have enough olives? Yes. I could just throw more fruit farms down here. Kinda weird. There, a fruit farm. And I guess that's just gonna be for decoration. Um, what can I pop back there? Statues. An equestrian. Ooh, okay, this could work out. Equestrian statue surrounded by this wall. No, that looks weird. Let's undo this and then we can go to paths, fur path over there, fur path going like that. A few extra trees to break the symmetry. I'm leaving that forest there, but we can fill in those gaps. There we go. The section now complete. <laughs> ah. Yes, I've beat Theme Hospital and Two Point Hospital on the channel, if you want to go check that out. Okay, this industries section, I want to fill up this area right here. What can I put there? Could... I fill this like that. It sort of does a weird thing. I can do that. So it's a different kind of garden, right? Let me just do that. This is actually paths, but then the trees go around it. Yes, okay, good. I want every bit filled, <laughs> right? And back here, yeah. Use paths, because it's a little bit more. There we go, yes. Looks good. Clear that. Decoration techniques. Look at that. Just mix up the trees a little bit with the paths. And then here I can do this old trick. For a nice little mix. And then put a... What can I put in the middle? Parks. <laughs> sort of implies that there's a decorative statue thing. Looks kind of like graves, actually. Oh, look at this. Some people were buried here. <laughs> okay, hold on. We can actually do some interesting things. Um, right, it looks like gravestones. Uh, can I actually make it... Parks... 
uh, looped gamma. If I do this and then I get rid of that, so it's now facing that way. And I go to uh, not verdant hedge. I go to trees. Oh, it, it eventually flips back. Okay, fine. Uh, I plant different kind of trees. An elm tree. A plum tree. A fig tree. Okay, clear this. And an oak tree. This is a commemorative monument. Garden, garden. Clear the trees. And then I have, like, a bit of a road. Uh, grab the wall. Make this look... Paths? Just garden path? Hmm, can't quite do that. The road out like that. <laughs> right? That's a special grave I'm building. Um, what can I put here? Uh, parks. Ooh, a blessing from Ceres. Okay, that. Decorated it. <laughs> you can you can put little stories in with all these decorations now. Right, I always said the this particular wall looks very morbid. So now I can get rid of this one and put something less morbid there. Parks. A pavilion. Blue looks weird. Orange looks good. So the hidden hidden pavilion back there. Then we can sort of got a statue, throw a senator statue. Things are a little bit overgrown in this section, but we can throw down a palm tree. A couple date trees. So this is sort of like an unkept garden. Fill the gaps with gardens. Is that not a tile there? Oh, right. Clear that and then there. Okay, good. A little bit of an unkept garden there. Okay. Okay, now this whole thing is filled. This side's not quite. So I want to finish this island. Like, finish, finish. It's an art project, okay? Look at that! Doesn't that look great? <laughs> Isn't that good? Uh, let me tell you how I used to decorate. Select gardens, click in one corner, drag to the other corner. Yeah, but then you get the problem that gardens actually function as roads and your whole city falls apart because you gardened it up. And then, in the uh, without Augustus having that setting, houses expand into gardens, then they expand far too out from the roads and then they devolve temporarily and then houses start evolving and disappearing, it becomes a big mess. Increased trading of pottery. Oh, okay. But look at this. Yes, that's exactly how I wanted it. Now imagine we do this for the whole thing, right? It's gonna be so amazing. Like this level of detail and bits of storytelling, right? We've got the the commemorative mausoleum and statue here. You know, this statue looks cheesy. I'm gonna replace the statue with something else. Um, the senator statue actually looks more classy nowadays. So that's there we go. right. So, right, this level of detail, like we've we've told a story here. Special grave out on this little river cove thing, right? And, you know, mix up the trees, but I, I actually these walls with the the little residential gates. It's it's actually. 
working out so much better. There's so many options for decorations now. This is great. Noper, thank you so much for remaining as Acolyte. Oh. Right? You, you can just start doing all these little things. Okay. So I just have to finish this section off. And then it'll be good. Uh, I do want to leave that forested. But what can I put here? Um... I don't need to boost up food production. So I can let's see statues. I can just pop another equestrian statue here. That's kind of no. Uh, another large. Just put a large statue. Yeah, we can do a large statue. And then we. Oh, that's how we can end the wall, in a kind of a bit of a loop like that. 1,250 denarii, it's okay. We're, we're wasting money anyway. Uh, send another gift, yes. <laughs> uh, a little bit of free play decoration, it's really nice. This park, not nice. Let's see, what, what haven't we really used? There's more colonnades. So, just putting a row of colonnades actually works out kind of nicely to wrap this up. Parks. I could put a large pond, actually. Let's change this because there's actually some room here where we can put a reservoir. And then we could put Parks large pond back here. Paths. And then like oak paths. Can we actually mix and match the paths? So say I do oak path like that. But then I mix it with an elm path. Ooh! Ooh, okay, okay. We, we can do some interesting... Do these... Okay. The paths currently don't interact with each other. Augustus devs, I don't know how much you can develop on this. I know anything's possible. I don't know how difficult this is. But when it comes to paths, right, I want them to interact with each other when they're different types. So see, paths, if they're the same type, they do that. But if they're different types, it seems like they don't. Oh, they do, they do. Okay, it's just a bit laggy. So they do mix and match, okay. Augustus Devs, good job. You don't need to do anything. You've already done it. <laughs> they take some time to update. Okay, so that means if I... Yes, yeah, it just didn't do it immediately. So, I want to do... Like fig. Fig. Pass. Plum. Plum. Pass. Uh... Helm. So you can like mix and match these trees like that. That's really good. Uh, parks. Could put something right there. Is there anything I want to put there? I'm not sure. Trees. Uh... Hold on, let's go to Parks, Sunlit Hedge. Trees, and we can scatter Elm, Elm. Plum. Another blessing from Mars. Big garden. No. Okay. I don't like that. So I'm gonna move that to there, get rid of this. Garden there. Okay, a little bit of a water pond fountain garden back that side. 
then I think we can very simply just fill up the rest of this. You know what? Actually doing that does not look good. Yeah, the trees actually work out best. So tree, tree, tree. Oak. Elm, tree, fig. Okay, and now this island is complete. My art project of the first island finished. Nice, right? Natural, mixing it up. If you want a particular shape for the wall hedge, you can use a rotate button. Oh, okay. So that means if, for example, like I change this, I grab this hedge. Oh, okay, nice. We can actually do that. So where was it that I wanted to do that? <laughs> I wanted to do that somewhere. I can't remember where. That's okay. Okay, two and a half hours in, it works. Oh, it works with the gravestones as well? Okay, so if I wanted to do this, right, so they flip back if you don't set them. Uh, parks, uh, looped garden wall. Oh, I see. Oh, no. The plus doesn't work there. Let's see if it works. Looped garden wall. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> so maybe that can be tweaked. But there we go. Stories told, decorations set. And it's a functional block and export trade route. If park can be used as road, can you in theory build an entire city without roads only using gardens instead? I think parks work as roads, but they don't count as road connections to buildings and stuff like that. So you can't do it with just parks. Okay, we have a little bit of unemployment. So now we can have a road extend out from here. This is supposed to be accepting furniture. So now we go raw materials, timber yard. Uh, back out here. Materials, timber yard, one, two, bookshop, furniture, one, two, three, four, road, firehouse, engineer's post. Senator's statue. Okay, a little bit of a logging industry. And our road can actually continue through. Actually, I don't need to roadblock that. That's actually fine. As we start crawling through the rest of the city. Over here, we can do parks. Squeeze a small pond in. Garden up a little bit. And this section looks nice. This will bring furniture in so we can evolve these. There's some desirability issues. I think it's fine. The extra two wharves, I think, are keeping the fishing going. All fishing happening here. Pottery supply seems to be keeping up. So, it took us two hours to finish this first island. 
Imagine how long it would take to do all this. Like luxury palaces, I think down here between these farmlands. But importing... Uh, oh dear. We have to import wine. And a third type of food. With the trade section here. I guess you can just spam warehouses to go get stuff, right? That's not the worst thing. The further away it is, the more warehouses you need. That's pretty much it. It's difficult to go back to Vanilla Caesar 3 after playing Augustus mod. Even Vanilla Caesar 3 is now impossible to play, even with just Julius, right? Julius is like vanilla Caesar 3 with UI improvements and compatible save files and stuff like that. Just the smooth scrolling and right click to close messages, like the fact you can open this, right click co closes messages. Just smooth scrolling and that, it's already like you, I can't stand going back to vanilla. The true size of the map is finally dawning on me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the target population is 8,000. We're at, once I evolve these, 2,500 already, right? It's just, like, we, we've been building in cramped spaces up until now. This is actually much more open here. Like, here we could do something. But I, I do really like that there's no just big open space. It's not like the campaign maps where it's like just massive flat land, right? Which is great for gameplay. But, who's fishing here? This seems... Oh, these guys are fishing here. Because technically this is closer than that. Oh, so this end one is fishing here. The second end one is fishing here. <laughs> Can't you technically use the central island as a shortcut to the right-hand island? No, because this cliff wall blocks all connection. 32 timber. Huh. That's actually quite a lot. I should set up some perpetual storage. Uh... Furniture is coming in here, so let me just start trading furniture. And then I set down two more timber yards there. Set up a warehouse here. Timber, timber. Warehouse. That is just to stockpile timber. Okay. Maybe the graphics are making it look like there's a gap when there isn't. I mean, it's the the rivers, but actually, uh, like you see here, there's no... Uh, you, uh, no, that's not traversable. It is traversable! This is, this is a thing, right here. This is a thing. ship bridge to there and then that can cross over here so this then allows us to Contaminated water. But my iron mine. 
But this does allow us to cut through the middle of the map like that. Okay, okay. I thought the shortcut was cutting to the middle island and cutting over to here. So you don't have to go all the way around like this. But I didn't realize there was this gap here. This is actually a really good feature of the map. That there's just one tiny thing, like, the, the thing that makes maps interesting is restrictions. What you cannot do makes it more interesting. Like this bunch of farmland, you cannot access it from here. It's just not possible. Like these rocks here were placed specifically to stop you from doing that. Right? This is just... <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, if only I could get there. So when I finally do get to that farmland, I'll be like, yes, I'm finally here. Right? That's how you can pay off. Like, oh, there is actually an opening here. There's a single tile to the left of those rocks. No, I think I checked it. See? Doesn't quite conform <laughs> to there. <laughs> Like, th this tile here is just to tease you. Like, this is useless as well. This can't work. It's just to be like, oh, you could go there, but not this way. <laughs> this is actually probably my favorite tile in the whole map right here. <laughs> no, you have to go this way, and then you can go up this way. Right, there's, there's literally only one tile to connect to there. Okay, so furniture's coming in, wood is stockpiling, these houses did evolve, we don't have any oil here, do we have a surplus of oil? Um, I could possibly set this to getting oil as well, maybe, get these up to large insulate. I never built an arena here, but I guess that's fine, right? Yeah, I don't know if it would ever be possible to not have units calculate things as the crow flies. Like, you'd have to set up a whole new programming system of the pathfinding to calculate how far it is by travel rather than as the crow flies. As the crow flies is so much easier to program, which is why the game is like that. <laughs> right? These two wolves are essentially crippled because these fishing spots exist here. Build some decoration on the one tile you can't go. <laughs> what do you put there? Um, something I hate. I hate this statue there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like pathfinding as a word. Yeah, but like pathfinding to calculate distance specifically so that units will harvest the nearest by pathfinding rather than uh, straight distance. We're going to increase the price of clay. That's fine. Uh, how long has it been? Time flies in this game. Look at that. Send another gift. Uh, favors at 87. It's at the target already. So we're going to get we're gonna grab some oil. I think that's, yeah, that's working out okay. Ooh, we can send this request, dispatch goods. So I'd need to build another housing area. But just getting like clay and pottery around is, I think I build some housing on this island, because that's not so far as well. Yeah. Uh, in terms of food... Is there enough flat coast here to fish? But there's some farmland here. 
And then there's this farm. Th this farmland could feed the little houses I put on this island. I think I low bridge there. Have this road cut through up to here. I'm gonna have a little island residential row here. I have to clear. Just gonna clear most of the trees on this farmland here and then open this up here. Favors at 95, okay. Yeah, open up all of this. Yeah, good. So there we've exposed the farmland. So I basically want grove houses like that. Like that. What did I just block off? Oh, right. This will need to open. That has to go. Do I really have to return the iron mine to back there? Uh, maybe, maybe the iron mine can exist here. No. <laughs> The only way to utilize those rocks is if you block the whole entrance. Okay, which means I have to go back to here. Okay, iron mine returns there. Uh, nope, wrong key. My roadblock there. Roadblock. Let's not use a roadblock, let's use... Oh, I can't tab on these gates, by the way. Lock those. So now that's opened up. Good. Oh, these zebra, they're gonna start running around. I can have a reservoir. Trades more clay. Okay, nice. I can have that. Clear these trees. Clear these trees. We're gonna need fountains. to be there. there. Okay. Plaza. This whole section. Blessing from Venus. Lock that. Firehouse. Firehouse. Engineer's post. Okay. Then we need market, road, road block. Granary. Not there. Granary. There. Firehouse engineer's post. Yes. Good. This road extends out. Through here up to there. Okay. I think I've actually trapped those zebra back in there. <laughs> Okay, this place uh, for uh, rebellious purposes, we're going to need to entertain them. So... Theater. Amphitheater.
arena. And we do actually need a lion house somewhere here. So that's why we don't need that farm. So let's put a lion house here. So that provides lots of entertainment to stop people from being angry. And then this is going to be market lady only for nope, nope. accepting fruit. That might cause these fruit walkers to, yeah, those fruit walkers to walk over that way. But it should be okay if we just... These island shapes. Oh, right. That'd look weird. That's fine. We'll roadblock there. Okay. Hopefully nothing collapses or burns on this island. Did this market walk all the way over there? Okay. Um, we can move series to here. Contaminated water, okay. I can take mercury, put it over here as well. Replace that with statue, legionary statue, okay. Just get a couple of those down, uh, hmm, school. There, okay. Uh, these houses... Uh, we can actually start distributing oil here as well. Trade oil, which evolves those and then allows me to throw down a forum to tax them. If you're evolved, you get taxed. So basically we need this area to get us the population we need to start maybe expanding and setting things up on the center of the main island. This also does establish this uh, um, this connection through the middle over to here. You could actually use this farmland to feed this island as well. Okay, I think fruit should maintain stable enough, right? Yeah, this distance here is not too great. Okay. I want to decorate the rest of this island. I should just fill it with trees. Let's do elm tree. <laughs> just scatter them around. Uh, big tree. Oh, right. Oh, the cursed iron mine. Right, okay. So <laughs> the cursed iron mine. Um, trees. So I did big elm oak.
Trees. Uh, fig, elm, oak, plum. There we go. Nice and natural. Looks cool, right? Doctor. Oh, right. Thank you. We're definitely gonna need... You know what? Plague keeps breaking out. Let's do that. Two doctors. And a barber. Right, then we have this spot here where we can have some baths. Yeah, then they just need pottery and stuff. Uh, but getting resources over this side... Uh, is this... Is that actually an opening? It is. This can now go... Get, get, get. Eight of each. That worked out. This is most certainly going to need to be decorations, parks, colonnade, paths, oak paths. That evolved nicely. Right, this is set to trading everything, that's why. Uh, but you know, that's that's fine. That's fine. But there's some surplus that's actually overflowing into this region, which is actually okay. That's actually fine. This is a small housing block. 3,000 people. Complete this map today. <laughs> it would be... It would be a bit of an endeavor to try and complete this map in a single sitting. In a way that we're doing now. If I was trying to speedrun it, then yeah, but... Trying to decorate everything like this. Being nice and careful. Like filling this little island with trees. Ah, it looks so nice. Like an actual orchard. Haven't even used this yet. Uh... Do we have enough food? I think we have enough food. This is going to start overflowing into the rest of the city. Oh, this fish filled up as well. And these are all large insulae. Some desirability problems. Can I solve that? Only if I maybe get an oracle or something built here but to do that i'd have to connect this road i think i can actually connect this road now what am i doing just connect it here So this is now connected, which means I can break this and put a oracle right there. Right? Am I maintaining my marble imports? Yeah, just import to maintain eight. And that should bring enough desirability to evolve that block there. How many people in a luxury palace? I think it's 200. I think there's a place for two fishing wharves. 
to the right of the bridge that goes across the northern land. Like here, right? Yeah, there is. Oh no, this is a garden. Uh, okay, we've broken that. Very good. That's bad. All the walkers are just... Please, nothing catch fire. Uh, let me put something that's not just gardens here. Trees. Keep it tropical. Okay, this oracle is being built. There. And that looks like it did evolve everything. Good. Uh, oh, there's... I never fixed that house. There we go. Okay, so these are now large insulae. Those are large insulae. These are not quite... What do they want? Library. Right. If I build a library here... Would it actually work? Or would it spawn on the bridge? <laughs> ah, it's working. Great. I could just move the arena, actually. If I move the arena to here... Then library. Then bathhouse. Pavilion. Orange. Nice. Ah. Stroby, thank you so much for joining the Zachalites. Uh, just some desirability issues there. Uh, is it fixable? Senator statue there. I could fit a large statue back there, which might do it. No, that's terrible. Uh, big. Plum. Helm. Oak. There. Large insula. And if I destroy that... Ah, colonize the center island. Okay, city's doing well, I think. Look at that. It's it's turning out real nice. It's just painting bit by bit. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. The money's not doing so well. Right, it's because I started importing marble again. It is January, so it's a new trading year. Right, and we're not going to be maxing out our weapons export. I just realized I never dealt with the increase in weapons. How do I get more iron? There's some rocks here, but I don't know if any of these would... Oh, you can actually get an iron mine here.
you get an iron mine down here. You can. It's rather awkward. I could throw an iron mine there. Uh, we don't need this lion house anymore, so I can just have an extra weapons workshop. That's actually kind of cool. The end of the path, we put the tree. So it shows that it actually ends like that. That actually makes sense. Hmm. So with this extra iron mine, just sending over a little bit more iron. Extra workshop, that should boost our weapons export. Uh, yeah, we just imported a bit of marble, which probably hit our economy a little bit. This timber is going to start sending timber over to this side, but that's not the worst thing either. Ah. Uh, that's a problem. Increased trading of oil. Oh, so things do get more and more profitable as we go along. Okay, so we got to store weapons and keep selling olive oil. What can I do? I can actually destroy that. And this actually functions there and it's protected by this. This now does that. Which I guess works. Yeah, sure. Boost oil production somewhat. We're stockpiling weapons. There's no room for weapons. That's a problem. Uh... <laughs> Where do I stockpile the weapons? Um... 20 weapons, 20 weapons. I guess I just get rid of that. Uh, I suppose traders can access this. Yeah, we don't need the work camp there. We're not building anything particular anyway. So that also means I can get rid of this and boost... More oil. Great. This is probably not very efficient for this iron mine. Yeah, it's going to be sitting at 100% for a while. Uh, if I squeeze an iron mine there... Then again, we, uh, we're doing okay on money. It's only when I actually just start spending a lot, start importing weird things. It's actually fine. Okay. Should I try get a grand temple? Uh, maybe I should try get a grand temple. Here's actually a good spot for one. 
because it's not a very useful location. Right, like right here. Yeah, that's actually a good spot. Um, which ones do I want? Uh, series could boost, uh, could reduce how much food people eat, which would actually be huge on this map, right? Um, Neptune has can make faster fishing ships. Mercury could boost money. By the way, there is... I did turn it on. In the options for Augustus, there is now... Is it here? Uh, is it under difficulty? A maximum number of grand temples per city. I set it to five. So we can build every grand temple. No, we can build... All but one grand temple. So we can get one to each, which would be quite an undertaking, but... Oh, what should I get first? Ceres? Neptune? Wanting to build five grand temples, but you can't make them marble. Oh, Pantheon doesn't count towards the grand temple limit? Oh, okay, so we can build all of them. But also, yes, our marble import is... 15 a year, so that's not great. Let's just set that to 16. Oh, you know what would be handy? In Warehouse? If you could add this to Augustus somehow. A good idea from Nebuchadnezzar. A button to destroy resources, a specific resource, in a warehouse. Because so, like here, we're sitting on some pottery taking up a slot and there's no real way to get it out of there which is kind of annoying importing 16 okay so there is yeah the road connection is fine it'll, it'll just take a while to do it neptune would be most fitting i suppose it the it should be thematic to location. So this is by the water. It's not by farmland, so Ceres doesn't make sense. It's not by any particular wealth. So yeah, this should be a Neptune Grand Temple. <laughs> oh. uh, no, it actually can't fit. <laughs> Neptune can give you more people in houses? Oh. Like, if I build this here, it would actually block off... Which way does the Neptune Grand Temple... ...face? Let me open up the space here. Uh, what's it look like? Okay, it does face that way. I guess, yeah, we don't have to have a road coming in here. We can just block this off. This can just be the end. Um, these don't rotate, right? No. Okay. Yeah, so we can just... Yeah, actually have this be blocked off. I want it here? No, I should use up all the space. So I should put it here. Does it have to be road connected from that side? No, okay. <laughs> this is actually fine. This is fine. This works. Okay, so then we just need to have this work camp, work camp, architects killed. 
and get rid of this Architects Guild. Did I already get rid of this Architects Guild? I think I did. Is there a... I got rid of the work camp. I think I did get rid of the Architects Guild. Blessing from Mercury. Blessing of incurring raw materials for your craftsmen. Oh. Nice. All of our craftsmen are full on stuff now. Yeah, money will go back up once we... Um... Start selling weapons again. Set this to getting weapons, then that will help trade. Price rise of oil, nice. So now it's just about, yeah, there we go. Marvel's gonna slowly carry over to here. And this, yeah, we can just block this off. Anything over here will access from this side. We don't we don't need to go through this way. That's fine. So I could spend some time finishing this section. Uh this You are there! Oh. I actually went into debt. <laughs> alright, alright, fine. Let's uh Okay, we're not importing that. Let's just Pause importing marble, yeah? Because we, we had to stop selling weapons for quite some time. So I finished that section. There's like some little gaps around here, which is kind of annoying. But you know, maybe... It's okay leaving some empty bits. Right, it sort of makes sense. Like, this forest here I would leave because this is actually like a forestry industry. But then here would need to be decorated, so... I just finish this off. Okay, let's go to parks. Hmm. That's That's gonna block off of there. Parks. Looped garden wall. Well, that's kind of weird. Let's do parks, looped garden wall. Here. That's where this section's ending. Paths. For a path. Doing that. Parks Pavilion. So we actually want blue pavilions and blue things around Neptune, right? So what we can do is... That doesn't quite work. We do this, and then we do Parks Marble Column, the blue one. And a rare verdant hedge in the desert. Okay. <laughs> Quite luxe, right? 
This little back garden on the other side of the Neptune Grand Temple. Then we decorate this section, and I think I can call this section complete. The natural forest and stuff here, that sort of makes sense already. That's supposed to be there. This area is already decorated. It's good to leave a little bit of a deserty vibe. Maybe I could throw a couple trees around this section. Yeah, okay, that. So this section here is complete. Once this is constructed, I'll decorate that and then this northern part of the map will be complete. Ah, I love it coming together. It looks so good. You really can't unsee those curved walls as gravestones now. I always said they, they looked morbid. That's why I always use them for like the... The mausoleum areas. Which reminds me, I should I should have a mausoleum area on this map. Like I should build a giant mausoleum area. Hmm. Hmm. You know, letting the game run at its own nice pace. Allows us to not, you know, try and kill ourselves getting this done. Um, now, city health is below average. Maybe I should just build a hospital somewhere. Where? Where's plagued? Here. Like, just having a hospital should actually... Yeah, we can we can just have a hospital here. Oh, just the little houses, huh? Clinics are fine. Oh. Uh Barber? Barber's fine. Baths? Yeah. Oh, the bathwalker... Oh, right. Sometimes the bathwalker has a sh shorter walking distance, but that should be fine. Replace. Okay. We shot 137 workers. Right. Right, I stopped importing marble. Things aren't gonna continue if I don't keep that up. Can I cut down on anything? It seems like I don't need this many farms here. Increased trading of wine, okay. Maybe I should be squeezing more houses. Uh... Like, I could, like, put a market here. And have some... Let me see if the market lady walks this far. My roadblock here, but allow yeah them to pass. Okay. I don't know if she'll walk far enough down here. It'd be using up. And then fitting all the services, I don't think it's actually worth it doing this. 
Yeah, it's not actually worth it. I should just deprioritize food, I think. Oh, our health and education is taking a hit. That's why. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I save some workers there? Yeah, hospital takes 30. Like, I could just have a working housing block down here somewhere, but... Hmm. All right, so, uh, what we're going to do today, what we're going to do today is at least finish this grand temple, finish off this garden area, maybe finish off this, this section of the island, maybe not this side, I'm not too sure if we'll need the farms here. Uh, oh, there's a zebra still just <laughs> trapped back there. <laughs> um, and I think that'll be a good first half of this mission, I guess, because it, it's I've, I've never actually like sat down, spent the time and build up a whole city properly for you guys. So I think I should go ahead and do that um, now back here. Uh, yeah, I should f fill in these gaps. So let us go to. Let's try to throw some statues. Actually, legionary statue looks good there. Parks. Mm. What am I looking at here? Obelisk. I can do is no, parks, obelisk, rows of obelisks can look kind of nice. Then we do paths. And then mix up these paths. Uh, oak, elm, plum, Big. Uh, okay, that kind of works. Colonnades. <laughs> okay, that, that's a bit different, but sure. I think that, that actually kind of works. We'll hedge up that edge. Then I think the rest of this just needs to... We can hedge up that edge as well. And I think the rest is just trees. So we do... Yeah. Plum, 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 trees, big, 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 big. Oh, all these houses are devolving because ran out of furniture? Why did... The roadblock shut down the the warehouse. <laughs> the roadblock shut down the warehouse. That warehouse was inaccessible. It's okay. It it will recover by itself. 
trees. Uh, I did plum, fig, elm. Trees, oak. And then fill the gaps with gardens. So it's not so even. Okay, so this half of the island done. There we go. Market's doing fine. Everything re evolved. Please move back in. Oh, <laughs> uh, that roadblock. See, it's the only road tile touching the warehouse. So that roadblock stopped this warehouse from having any access to workers. What's my objective? Well, to make to, to finish the map, like fill it, like here. We have little decorative storylines, right? Uh, but like actually have it filled and functional. Exports will earn extra 50%. Nice. Have I resumed importing marble? Yes. So marble should be coming over here. Oh yeah, yeah we're making progress. But we can only do 15 a year. So yeah, this half of the island is now done. Personal menagerie of zebra back there, just because. Education needs to be improved by... Does the library not reach? Oh, we just don't have enough workers. Right. We're just really short on workers, huh? Yeah, 178. If I deprioritize that, other things come back online. I guess since money's back to being okay, it's okay. I just need more people. Um, oh, this actually steps up this one. Yeah, boosting population is kind of hard because of the sentiment mechanic. You can't just feed people. But I think I do need some kind of worker block for now. Like this is the most ideal space for luxury palaces. So this this has to be our big important area, right? Has to be. Hmm. I guess if I just waste some farmland. Right, it'll work, okay. Hmm. What's our health rating? It still says city health is poor. I suppose one hospital only covers... Um, a thousand people, but still. Yeah, marble's still coming in. Okay, so I, I think I just need to build a working block, like here. And just try and entertain them so they don't rebel. <laughs> Open up this space here. Make sure there is actually access for walkers to get here. Yeah, okay, they can walk around there. Let's just do something. Most This should be temporary. This should not be a permanent thing. Just get people in. Reservoir. Uh, 
there and there. Okay, let's get those guys in. Shot 200 people. Ugh, that's not great. Yes, this Augustus now punishes slums quite a bit. You can't just do this and have your way. You know, it doesn't quite work. Yeah, that's an inefficient amount of fountains, but okay. Okay, okay. This city looks fantastic, though. I think it's the nicest city I've ever built. <laughs> it's, it's really coming together. You just have to spend time. you got to spend the hours making it. I don't know how many people we're going to get from this, but let's plaza this. Let's also make sure they are entertained. So, theater, amphitheater. Sixteen oil. Okay, a lower price of marble. Oh, that actually helps a lot. Dispatch those. Um, arena. Just have a road not there. Extend out. Road block. Make sure we have actor colony. Gladiator school. Road. Clear. My house, engineer's post uh, on this side. Uh, my house, engineer's post and lion house. We're also not taxing these guys, so they're very entertained and not being taxed. Paths, fur path. No. Paths, pine paths. Okay. Some decorations. This is gonna be a permanent block, isn't it? <laughs> it's I'm never getting rid of this. This is gonna be here forever. Um, okay, there's still plenty of room for people to move in. This should actually solve our... Um, I basically need a granary here. Like that. And a market can go right here. Trading fruit. I'll need to bring some temple down here. Let's move Mercury. Just need fruit farms. Uh, this road can be a loop. One, two, three. Boom. 
24 fish, we can do it. Yeah, the thing I'm wearing, I think it's officially a shawl. Okay, let's try feed them at least. It's a very spiky block. <laughs> okay, well, it's something. Uh, yeah, um, the people moving in are basically just filling up these things for now. Oop, this needs to be... Accepting fruit. There we go. Now we can start feeding some of these people. Library. And that should get him to small casas, I think. Ooh. Doctor. Doctor. Let's just throw down three doctors. So plague doesn't break out. Yeah, we're losing money. It's because of the marble imports. It slows exports. But you know, favors a hundred, who cares? Grand Temple is phase three of five. I should prioritize these things and just let industry take the hit, because... Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Probably have 800 in savings. I just give it all to the city. There. Buys us a bit of time. Uh, since we did evolve this, we might as well tax them, and I cleared that space. Oh, there was a plague here. Didn't even realize that lost us 84 occupants. Okay. Yes. It is me. Again. So I've evolved all these houses. I just need all these people to move in. It's just a long journey. If I wanted to shorten it, this might work, but... Easy enough to connect it, it's just... It's probably not worth it, building a bridge for that. Oh yeah, we, we've been live for longer. There, there was an outage halfway through. I do really like how this is coming together, though. Uh, if people start rebelling, they're gonna show up this way, so I'm just gonna... ...have some guards guard this bridge. <laughs> right? Because they shouldn't go through that way. Yeah, it's coming together. No, oh, we really don't have much to export, huh? Because we're so short on employees. All these immigrants are coming in, though. Greetings. I'm new to this place. Do you know of anywhere to live? That's the most nostalgic line in this game. Well, most nostalgic unit line in this game. Uh, most nostalgic line might be... Uh... 
to, what, what, what is that intro? To build a city you need, what? Housing, food, water, farming, something in that order. <laughs> that one. Mad Caddy and Mad Knack, thank you so much for subscribing. That's very kind of you. You know, this actually doesn't look too bad. I thought this was gonna be much worse. It's a bit slapdash, but we got it up to small casas. Surprisingly quickly. And with all the entertainment, they should, hopefully, um, stay peaceful. If I check the housing advisor, there's available capacity of another 900 people. And we're only short 100 workers, so that, that should actually work out nicely. I think I temporarily halt marble imports. We need another 12. Oh. Go do the clay first. Uh, yeah, I do actually need to make money. I deprioritize, deprioritize. Prioritize the industry. Okay. All right, short 75. Food is still struggling a little bit, but it's okay. We can squeeze more farms once we actually get uh, these people in. Just to stabilize this food supply. Short 54. Okay, okay. Oh, we got out of debt. Nice. Resetting that. Oh, we're back into debt. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Look, Caesar, you're gonna love this city once it's done. It's gonna look so fantastic. Uh, I, I think Augustus is at that point where you really can have that many decorations. Like, it, it just looks so diverse and mixed up and nice. You are there. Ah! Shh, shh, shh. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, my favor dropped a little bit. To 95. Okay. We've solved our employment problem. Let's throw down these farms. You are there. <laughs> Can fit one more there. Uh, yeah, that looks like quite a lot of people moving in. That, that should solve the food problem here. So, building this block solved our employment problem. And boosting our population to at least half the target amount. You're there! Uh, so now we gotta have our industries pump out all of our exports again. We short on anything? Everything seems to be running fine. Like I'd probably want maybe another weapons workshop. If anything, someone just died. <laughs> but then again, yeah, money is coming in. Uh, I'll just stockpile a little bit more money. Why is trade taking so the long? The dockers are taking our goods to the warehouse now. 
It's buying weapons. I suppose the hmm. the weapons aren't. You again? What did we just buy? Why did we suddenly lose all of our money? Wages? Is it wages? People are very pleased with me. Let's tax them a bit more. Okay. The gods. Oh, the gods are unhappy. Hate doing this, but it's gonna have to do for now. Okay. <laughs> how did we get to this point? How how did this happen? Okay, we just need to evolve a couple more houses here. Is this number of palms really not enough? be okay. The governor clearly doesn't care about me, so I'm gonna show him how I care about his- Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just, just stab him. He died. He's dead. <laughs> Do I have farms in each of your blocks? All the evolved blocks, yes. I'm not taxing the casas down there. But yeah, forum there, forum there, and there's a forum over here. So we are taxing these people. Oh, we got money. There we go. Um, start importing the marble again. We gotta complete this. It's been bringing the clay over. So it hasn't been wasting time. I can't remember if the final phase cost resources. No basic... What? We're like 17 workers short and they're all... <laughs> in that library. <laughs> this library is where all the missing employees were. <laughs> Final phase is just architects. Okay, so once we get this marble in, we can finish this grand temple. And we can finish up this northern part of the map. So then, at that point, I think essentially the north part of everything would be done. Because this top right will be done. This top left will be done. The top of this central island is done. I guess I just don't know if I should be farming here. Right now I don't need to, so it's kind of a waste if I do. So, uh, like I don't know if I should be decorating up this this area here like could what three have I not put this one There. <laughs> I've treated it up. <laughs> uh, okay, money looks good. The gods are being appeased again. Nice. I uh, assume some marble has come in. Yes. We still have clay. <clears throat> so we just need four clay and the 12 marble. We've got six marble so that's half the marble we need left to finish so we can we can finish the grand temple this year oh we actually have unemployment wow oh i built this slightly wrong
don't know if one more farm is going to do it. I'm not utilizing this farmland very well. Yeah, I just kind of want to finish the Grand Temple. Uh, everything did manage to evolve to small casa and I just added one more farm. So actually this should be enough food. It's just going to take a little while to... Uh, uh, stabilize. Yeah. This island's pretty much done. Uh, it's just whether I want to farm down here or not. But I don't have to. Okay. Oil is still being grabbed. Okay. I think some marble has been taken. I'm not sure if there's a priority for resources for for Grand Temple constructions. There, so basically this screen and a bit over there will be complete. Which is like... I suppose... Half the map? Uh, now you ask for money. 24 months, it's okay. I can make that back. I don't know if I have enough marble. There's eight marble in there now. I think I can actually stop, but I'm just gonna let this import... to max. Have I maxed my imports this year? Yes, so that should be enough. Let's stop importing marble. That should be all the marble we need. Okay, good. So now it just needs to get the resources over. Okay. <laughs> yes. And now we can start uh, saving up money. Ah, oh, and we don't have any employment problems. Mm, some instability with the food here. <clears throat> I don't know if this block is too long. Is the market lady... ...not completing her loop? No, no, she is, she is. Okay. It's not too long. How's the sentiment here? Oh, they're extremely pleased. Good. All right. Okay, money's back up. Let's send this request before I forget. Dispatch. Yes! All the resources have been deposited. I just sent him all that money. <laughs> and he's like, you again! Ah. <laughs> Come on. It can't build any quicker. I built that road and now he takes the longer route around. Fine. Shorter path. Come on. Emperor's gratitude. Okay. You're <laughs> the Emperor's gratitude. <laughs> Come on. Complete. Grand Temple completed. Priests and worshippers flock to the new Grand Temple for the rites of dedication of your people. Your people stand in awe. Of the majesty of your works, and your chosen deity showers you with favor. Okay, bestow an epithet. Uh, temples produce charioteers for the Hippodrome. Priests grant housing capacity by 5%. Grand Temple provides water like a filled reservoir. Okay, so that's not important, but extra 5% in houses. 
So I don't need that right now, but that's actually super useful. That's just a 5% boost in everything. So what's 5%? So we have 5,000 people. So right now that would just be 250 population straight up. Okay, so now I can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And we have to decorate this section. Uh, let's, oh, since this, um, we can put parks, large pond. Because this will eventually provide uh, water. So we don't need a reservoir here. We can then go... Uh, parks, obelisk, no. Uh, no, we go parks, marble column, the blue one. Because we need blue decorations. That is blue, right? Oh, that's green. Blue. I made these green. Sorry, my... No, that one's blue. Hold on. Parks. Marble color. Not sure if my eyes are playing tricks on me, but okay, okay. That seems correct. We clear this. We can close that off there. Clear that. Close that off there. Uh, paths. We're doing fur. And then Parks Colonnade. Tree. Oh, nope. Tree fur. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Garden done. And then we can do this, bestow epithet. This one, apply. Water is provided, because this now provides water like a reservoir. And our housing capacity for everything should be increased by 5%. Oh, priests expand housing capacity. So only where there's Neptune priests. <laughs> Where, where is the Neptune? Here, this block here. Extra room for four. Okay, so this brings in us to 5,000 population. Ah, uh, look at that. That looks pretty nice. <laughs> Kept with the blue scheme. So now we should actually be moving Neptune temples around. So like here there's Mercury. Here there's Mercury. Oh, trade more marble now. So I get rid of this. And swap a Neptune temple over here. And that will increase the population of this block by 5,000, 5%. 5 So there's no Neptune over here. Oh no, there is Neptune over here. So, okay, our housing blocks outside of this one. Yeah, 88 people.
Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, look at our city. This is just sort of a worker block, but look up here. This looks great. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. We did it. We got... We got something cool done. <laughs> I do want to come back and, I don't know, maybe spend another four hours building up luxury palaces, luxury blocks down here. Like, this whole section is unused right now. This might stay, but I'm not sure. This island here is 100% complete. This section up here is 100% complete. This is pretty much, the central island, pretty much 100% complete. It's just... I might need extra farms down here later. I mean, I guess with the unemployment, I could just pop the farms down now and you're like, bam, farm. This fills up some space. There we go. Two extra farms. And then just, bam, yeah, sure, it's filled. <laughs> Whatever, something like that. Ah, uh, looks good, right? Trade area up here. Lighthouse looks great. Uh, custom statue design there. Our uh, gravestone of the unknown someone. <laughs> unknown soldier there or something. Uh, what? Mausoleum commemorating our soul defense versus Caesar. It all turned out really nicely. Now we just have to exploit this area. Oh. Keep in mind, we're not just going for these goals here to just win, right? That would that'd be boring, right? By the way, Lizaran, thank you so much for creating this map. It's very, very interesting, just unlocking section by section. Uh, developers of Augustus, thank you so much for developing Augustus. Um, by the way, this video is sponsored by Firefly Studios to promote Roman's Age of Caesar. It's, uh, that, that's an upcoming in-development multiplayer city builder from the developers of this game, right? If you look at help and go to help, no, not help and help, it's go to help and go to about, and you see these names here, Simon Bradbury, Eric Ouellette, these guys, right, them, they're making Roman's Age of Caesar. Uh, and by the way, Simon Bradbury has watched me play this game. And there's a video on that on the Firefly channel as well. So if you want to check that out, please do. And if you want to check out Roman's Age of Caesar, please go to gamerzack.com slash Romans. Uh, that's a redirect referral link to the Romans page. So very much appreciated if you use that link. gamerzack.com slash Romans. Good. Good. Ah. Uh, Alright. That's gonna be it for today. Just look at this scene behind me. It's good, isn't it? It's good, right? Looks good. Ah! Oh, there, there's the thumbnail, I guess. A nice big screenshot. Uh, once this city is done, we're, we're gonna have something very impressive to look at. I'll, I'll also share the save file, maybe on Discord and stuff like that. By the way, go to the Discord and say hi there. Discord.gg slash GamerZack. Otherwise, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for joining. If you are watching on YouTube, please click the buttons on the screen right now to see more. There should be a link right here for Romans. Um, or the button that should lead you to Romans. But that's going to be it for now. Ignore the death. Good, good. Thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.